Normal day. Normal day. And you and Jason were friends? Yes, we went through the academy together. Okay, so you guys were buddies, and lo and behold, that kind of take me through the day. You're just coming to work on your shift, and I think it was the afternoon, wasn't it? Was right. The we, the work, we work the same shift, we work the same hours, same days off, actually, on a rotating schedule that we were on back then. Uh, we had just seen each other that day picking up our uniforms at the dry cleaners. There's a dry cleaners up here that uh, does a good job on our uniforms. We had seen each other and said, see you later on this afternoon. Uh, we parked right next to each other in a parking lot, uh, got out of our cars and walked across the street to where our office door was at. Uh, the white cargo box truck was there already. Um, thought nothing of it. You know, all I thought was, ah, it's just a delivery truck making deliveries. I'm sure he thought nothing of it. Um, there were a couple of motorcycles parked outside. We were looking at those, talking about the motorcycles, trying to figure out who they were or who they belonged to. Just normal stuff. Right. That day at the office, we were having a meeting. We were getting ready to discuss going to a new schedule. We had been on a rotating schedule that was wiping everybody out over the years, and we were discussing going to a four, ten-hour day shift. So there were people coming and going that weren't at work. There were people coming and going that had to be at work. Um, there were people all over the place when, um, you know, they were parking in the parking lot um, and stuff like that. And then uh, Jason opened the door for me. Uh, he said some kind of comment, age before beauty or something like that. And I started stepping the door. Uh, the assailant came up behind us. Uh, to my best guess, he was down over uh, in front of the truck because he didn't get out of the truck. Uh, no, no, no door closed. Came up behind us, uh, didn't say anything threatening. He said, hey officers, how are you doing? Well, I was focused going in the door. Jason was behind me, and the next thing I know, I, I put my hand up to be nice and wave, yeah. and I think Jason put his left hand up to be nice and wave, and the next thing I know, we were hit with gunshots. Was it one of those, though, and, and I'm sure when you get hit, and again, I don't know this for a fact, you, wanted, you went to, um, oh, I thought you were going for a drink. You got a drink over there? I thought you were going for my liquor drink. No, but is this one of those things where uh, when it happens, it was like, I mean, of what you can remember, was it, is this happening? Is this reality? I mean, what, what was? Quick, really fast. Um, the first shot, I didn't know where it went. Uh, it ended up hitting Jason in the hand. And he had his hand on the door. It ended up hitting him in the hand, split his fingers, uh, in between his fingers here on his hand, and he fell down. Obviously, it was painful. I turned, and as I turned, he was about from me to you, five or six feet away, and the gun was right there, and he pulled the trigger, and I, I remember seeing the muzzle flash and everything, and, and I, as I backed up and tried to get out of the way, um, there was a car. I went over and tried to lean on the car to get my wits about me, and uh, Jason uh, unfortunately had his gun belt thrown over his shoulder, and his gun belt fell off. He was trying to reach for his gun belt, and as he was trying to reach for his gun belt and get his gun out of the holster, fight it out of the holster, um, he walked right up to him, right behind him. and and put the gun on the back of his head and pulled the trigger.